This is Nasra. Nasra, you looking here? She's 17 years old. She plays herself in a story from her own life that you are about to see. She is the latest in a remarkable group of young women whose stories Girl Rising began to tell in 2013. And their stories are important because these girls hold our future in their hands. If they and the millions of girls like them succeed in getting the kind of education they need, incredible things will happen. For them, for their families, for their community, for all of us. Girls in school stay healthier, get married later, and have fewer children. As educated women, they earn more, raise healthier families, and make sure their children go to school. The fight for girls' education has made incredible strides. But one group of girls remains uniquely vulnerable, refugees. Every day, people around the world are forced from their homes in search of safety and better lives. More than 68 million people have been driven from the place they once called home. 17 million of these are girls. In East Africa, hundreds of thousands of Somalis have fled famine and violence to a refugee camp in Kenya. Some have been here for more than 25 years. Many were born here. It's called Dadaab. In 2018, the acclaimed poet Warson Shire, herself a refugee, worked with Girl Rising to tell the story of one girl, Nasra. My name is Nasra. I am my mother's daughter, the doll within the doll. I carry my mother's fears in my feet. I love cats. My favorite color is green. I love to dance. I've lived here almost my whole life stuck between two worlds. This damned asylum. My life is defined by absence. I am a child with no mother. From a people with no home. present with no future. Mother was my first loss. Bless my Hoya who bled to death. Mother was a cocoon where my cells sparked, my limbs formed. Mother swelled and stretched to protect me. She sacrificed herself. I am my mother given a second chance, born into this world over and over again, searching for a way out. What type of loneliness is it? When you're between two places but belong to neither one. I vibrate between this world and the next. I vibrate between girlhood and womanhood. 
Children are born here. They grow into adults here. I am scared we will die here. There are many names for this place between heaven and hell. Limbo. Purgatory. Dadab. Home was my second loss. It spat us out. Nineteen days to walk here from Somalia. I didn't know where I was going, or if I'd ever get there. No one leaves home, unless home is the mouth of a shark. At every checkpoint, we were asked, are you human? We felt we were still human, but worried that overnight while we walked, they changed the classification. We were the sin of memory and the absence of memory. We are the lost and found of humanity. There are a few good things in my life. School, wearing red, because red is for the girl who is at the top of her class. The soft faces of my friends smiling back at me. And sometimes there are weddings, and we dance. Anything to forget where we are for a little while. <laughs> We're reminded every day that because we are girls, we must walk fast, must lower our gaze, must stay in the light, must get home before dusk. We are forgotten here. Left to go on living in the in-between. We have forged a life where others would not be able to. I lived twice, imagining my life. If the war had never happened, if my skin were a different color, would life be so hard? Would hunger and thirst still feel like a birthright? I used to dream of snakes entering the camp. Now I sleep and I dream of Hoya Ma'an, sweet mother. In the mirror I look like my mother, the ghost inside the girl. I'm 17 years old, dreaming of growing wings. This dream with Hoya is different. I can see her face. I can smell her own sea. We wrap our arms around our body connected again like when I entered this world. She holds my hand in her hand, draws a flower on my palm. In this dream, Hoya says, 
What will you do with your one life, Nasrul? You must pledge allegiance to yourself. Mother says education is worth risking your life for. That it is my right. I keep this in my head, trying to conjure up the scent of her sandalwood. It's not enough to say a prayer here. If you walk alone, you are the prey. We move in numbers, shoal of fish, murmuration of birds. We stay alert, looking for signs. An omen, black snake, slick eel of dust. Taking one path over another can seal your fate. There is death. And there are things you imagine might feel worse than death. turned into monsters here. And some were always like this. How many arms do I need to grow to fight off what scares me? How many legs to leave? How many dreams until Mother tells me how to escape this place? Mother has given me a message. I must tell the girls so they can memorize it too. If I ever forget, they will remind me. I read to them the words as my mother said them. We pledge allegiance to our bodies. We pledge allegiance to fortifying our girlhood. We pledge allegiance to water, to its dutiful scarcity. We do not bow to thirst in the shadow it casts over our lives. We will be our own mothers. We will be the big sisters we never had. We will be the fathers we almost had. We will fortify our own walls. We will protect the vulnerable. We will protect ourselves. So we will protect each other. Our mothers are a talisman in this unholy place. Our 
Our mothers guide and guard us from the next world, helping our safe passage from girl into woman. Bless us, born girls, born black, born into war, born to no home. May we find love everywhere we go. Love always finds a way to exist, even in here. Okay, thank you. The best girl in class seven is Nasro. Can you clap, everybody? Papa, for that too much. So I wish you well in your future. So keep the continue. Okay, thank you. Hello, Jeffy. Joy is ours to find and keep. Tenderness is ours to raise. Love is not a myth. Loss is not our mother tongue. We're looking for a way out. Our mother's unused wings on our backs. This is a flag for our Pledge of Allegiance. For our mother's sacrifices. For our daily acts of courage. For our future and the futures of our daughters. May they know a world outside this place. May we see them soar.